Sure. Is there something you need, Jedi? Make it good for I have little patience. You are far from the first Jedi who has come here after all, willing to abandon that decrepit order of yours. I am. Obviously, you have been told of me. Is it your desire, then, to train at the Academy? Do you wish to become a Sith human? And yet, here you are in Little Korriban, just by accident? I find it hard to believe. If it amuses you, however, I'll play along. We wield ultimate power, my friend. To be a Sith is to taste freedom and to know victory. Nothing is as glorious as bending the Force to your will. You know the name. Malak is the strongest of us, and the strongest always rules. At least until one who is stronger can take it from him. That is our way. Survival of the fittest. You are always on guard, always lean for the kill. We promote it, for through this, the Sith are stronger. You've heard enough, have you? <laughs> so what is it to be? Are you here to be a Sith or not? Ah, oh, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Obviously you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? Perhaps none. Perhaps all the difference in the world. Either way, you possess enough raw power to intrigue me greatly. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps, if I let you. Does that interest you? A pity. And here I hadn't even decided yet. Well, human, should you change your mind, you know where to come. You again. What do you wish now? Ah, so you are just another hopeful... Obviously, you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it's... Perhaps none, with that kind. I see. Some... No, my friend. I'll not be the... But otherwise... ourselves a bit of sport, my friends. This is good. I want to celebrate my acceptance into the Academy. Me too. So how about it, chump? Ready to die? I'm eager to blow off some steam after those tests. Mucha shak pangpa. That's pretty funny. Why should we be scared of you? Oh, this one doesn't look like a pushover, you know. Maybe we should reconsider. Yeah, okay. You just keep out of our way next time. <laughs> oh, 
Once you become a Sith, you can do anything. You can feel the power coursing through you. None of you fools can compare to me. We eat or not, I'm not too tired. Please! You're jealous. You're jealous of my power. You think you deserve this medallion, don't you? I have the power to do anything! Pudu, Tony Rama na... Sniveling fool! And you would ever belong beside me in the academy. What's this? It seems I have an audience. Look, Jedi. Just keep walking. You can't stop me! You first, human. And then she dies. You again. What do you wish now? So, one of the others accepted you, even after I did not. Hmm, you're lucky, human, for I'm in a forgiving mood. I will take you to the Academy, and we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume? I see. Fair enough. So long as they do not disturb your training or cause any trouble. Are you ready to go to the Academy, then? Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you. Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. Promising? <laughs> that one's not worthy to lick spit off your shoes, Master. I met this one in the colony. Unworthy, if you ask me. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? A diplomatic answer, if not the core of the matter. Our power is obvious. The question in truth goes much deeper than the surface. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak?
are you? I can see into your heart, young human, and I see the dark kernel that is there. If it is ready to sprout, remains to be seen. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. My pupil, Euthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. There you are, my favorite prospect for the year. Absolutely. By my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Good. I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Darth Malak went there? Very interesting, isn't it, Master? Reaching that map, as they did, is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone, or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. And so it should. It is central to our beliefs. It is my responsibility to replace my master when I am strong enough. My part in this is to help you gain enough prestige and slow down the progress of the other hopefuls. I want you in that tomb when the time is right. We destroy Master Uthar together and I take his place. And you take your place at my side. A beautiful plan in its sheer simplicity. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. I have been involved in the work there. As you wish. About myself. I am originally from Slaheron, if you must know. I was a slave to a cruel master, Omish the Hutt. I'm sure you don't need to know more. You have had an excellent start. Go.
Here! What do you need? Talk about what? If it isn't the freak from the colony. Hello, freak. Chardin's the name. Don't forget it. You'll have me to thank when you get kicked out of here. Fine by me. You? I remember you from the colony. I can't believe you. Do. You take a wrong turn somewhere? Dustal, is that you? Oh, lovely. It's father. Figures you'd show up after all this time. How did you manage to get inside the academy? <laughs> and I'm supposed to believe that my self-righteous father has fallen into the habit of accompanying Sith in their training? I doubt that. Just why are you here, father? Not for me, I hope. Couldn't you have gotten yourself blown up on some ship and spared us this reunion? Dustle, what, what, what are you talking about? I, I thought you were dead. Too bad you didn't still think that. Or did you really think I'd be happy to see you? Look, everyone! It's Father! Come to rescue me at long last! Sure, he may have left Mother and I to die on Telos, but that doesn't matter. No, I didn't abandon you. The task force just arrived too late. Telos was in ruins, and your mother... I held her while... But I looked for you. I swear I looked everywhere. Ah, oh, save it. You abandoned us long before. We were alone all during the wars, and even once you came back, you still didn't stay. I didn't have a choice. I was needed at... Yeah? Well, you were needed at home, too. You were needed when the bombing started, and I got captured. You know what? It doesn't matter. Not anymore. I have a new family now, a family that cares about me. I don't need you. The Sith? You can't mean that. No, the Sith killed your mother. The Sith destroyed Telos. So? You're the soldier, father. How many mothers have you killed? No, you've been brainwashed. The son I knew would never... You never knew me! You weren't even there to know me! So don't presume to tell me what I would or wouldn't do! I don't know what's been done to you, but you are coming with me out of here, now. Touch me, old man, and I'll kill you. Get out! Get out of here before I tell the Sith that you're here! I don't need his protection, not anymore. The Sith give me everything I need. You can't mean that! The Sith are... they're evil. They're the dark side. They they took me away from you and your mother. They're, they're what took you from me. No, they are not evil. They're not. The dark side is superior. And you, you were at war long before they came along. The Sith war to conquer, to rule the helpless. I went to war for you, Dustal, for your freedom, your future. <laughs> I don't believe you. If I failed you, son, then it's... it's my failure. Please don't add to it by becoming part of something evil. Prove it. Prove that the Sith are so evil, and I'll... I'll think about it. Celine? She's the one who convinced me to come to the Academy with her. Why? Where did you get this? Look at it. It belongs to Master Uthar, doesn't it? Yes, it's his, but... He told me he... He said that she'd been lost on a mission in the Valley. This... This says that they... 
Killed her because she was hindering your progress. Superiority at any cost, Dustal. There's your evil. Or can you live with that? No. No, I can't. I... I had no idea. They lied to me. Well, there's the son I remember. Now, will you leave here? I... No. You go do whatever you have to, Father. I have some other friends here. I have to warn them what's going on. And maybe I can, you know, look around here and find out some more information. From the inside. Something that might help you. I don't suppose there's any way I could talk you out of that, is there? I mean, you're not gonna do anything halfway. Sounds familiar. I guess it does. I'm proud of you, Dustal. You aren't hanging on to a lie after you see it for what it is. Not everyone could do that. Maybe after this is all over we can... talk. I'm still not sure about... us, but I'll listen. Maybe we can get back to where we should have been. Well, I'd like that. I'll go back to Telos when this is over. You can find me there. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, son. Good luck. Yes, what's on your mind? I think so. If he's anything like he used to be, Dustal hates to be tricked. There's no way he'll have to sit trick him again. As for whether or not he'll be my son again, I, I don't know. He's so full of anger and hate. I wasn't expecting him to be like this. Well, maybe we can work it out. I, I hope so. I, I guess I'll have to wait and see. Thanks, by the way, for all your help. Yes, what's on your mind? If you're ready to talk, then yes. I can't hate you. I tried. I wanted to hold you responsible for all the things you've done. For my, for my wife, for Telos, for Dustal. But I can't. I got the revenge I always wanted when Saul died, but it hasn't brought me the peace that I thought it would. Despite whatever part of Revan is inside you, the, the darkness that must surely be there, it isn't who you are. That's why I can't hate you, why I don't want any more revenge. You don't have to be Revan. You can be so much more. Whatever the Jedi did to you, they gave you that chance. Whatever's happened up until this point, there's going to come a time very soon where you're going to have to make a choice and there won't be any turning back. Well, then I hope I can save you from yourself. Greetings, young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You wish to know more about me, do you? And why would I indulge your idle curiosity? I strived many years to hone my power, until I was able to drive out my predecessor, and there is nothing else you need to know. Do Indeed. where his weapon cache is hidden. So far, all the serum combinations are... If I bring his drug threshold too high, he'll go into shock. Certainly. Uh, just don't kill him or send him into shock. He's supposed to be questioned. Not if you manage to get the location of his cache out of him. I'll be... Me, Dieta. What are you... Gipuna! Gipuna! Gip! Kabadumpa! Unepudu Achuta! Kabadum! Unep! 
Hudu Ajuta. Ucha Hatonga Yafulke. Judges got up on. Yes, I heard that. Excellent job. Thank you for locating the cash. Naturally, I would see rewarded, but I would prefer that everyone believe that I extracted the information. Good. That's the way I prefer it. Now. to do yet. You have gained. Oh, and why would that be of use to me? His enteric valiant attempt, young one. But you... Indeed. is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? I am not surprised. The Force... You have had... What do you wish? I did. I also said that you didn't need... I see. Very well. I suppose there's no harm in the tale. As I said, I was originally a slave to one of the huts. The huts control every... I was determined not to be nothing. One night when the drunken worm had me alone in his chambers, I, st I stole onto a cargo ship and was not discovered by the crew until they reached the next system. They left me for dead on a desolate planetoid. Alone. But that was fine by me. I was glad to be anywhere other than Sahara. It was not luck that I was eventually rescued of her. I'd rather not discuss it. Is there something else? I hope... Greetings, young one. Then finish the piece is a lot. No. Then peace. Through passion, I gain. Through strength, I gain. Through power, I gain. Through victory. The Force shall free me. Yes, good. You have indeed learned the Code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Tell me then, true or false, victory by any means is desirable. False. Unless victory proves your superiority, it is an illusion. Sadly, it seems... Indeed. Greetings, young one. Then finite peace through pack through strip through power through victory the force. Yeah, tell me then. Well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. Very imp go now. You have done well, but you 
Very well. Yeah. <laughs> 
Hold it right there, whoever you are. We're not going back to the Academy. We'll kill you rather than go back. So what is it then? If you're not here to kill us or bring us back, why are you here? Speak up! So you don't know about us? I don't know if I'm ready to believe that or not, but I'll play along for the moment. My name is Thalion Mayer. The others here and myself refused to murder a bunch of people on a whim from Master Uthar. So here we are. We thought that becoming a Sith was what we always wanted, but that wasn't true. Now all we want is to get out of here. Fair enough? Help us? Why should I believe that this isn't some kind of trick? You want to help us? All right, I can think of a way. We're stuck in these caves, obviously, or we would have been long gone. There's a passage to the surface through the caves, but we're blocked by some kind of large creature. We can't defeat it. If you could kill it and clear up the passageway for us, we could escape. That would be help enough. Can you do that? I'll believe that when I see it. But if you could, we would be grateful.
So, is there news? Is the past... It, it's clear? We can go. Thank you. This... I wasn't expecting help from anyone in the academy. I guess we aren't the only ones who don't agree with everything. Maybe. Maybe the Jedi will accept us. I've seen how evil the dark side is. Maybe I could try. At any rate, thank you again. You've saved our lives. The second tomb on the left, within the valley, is the tomb of the You aren't assigned to the excavation team, are you? Greetings. I don't think I've seen you at the Academy before. Here to investigate the ruins. My name's Dak Vesser. I'm assigned to the valley ruins, as you can see. We've been painstakingly uncovering these tombs for many months now. Dak? That is you, isn't it? I, I... I hardly recognized you. It's been a long time, Jahani. What are you doing here? Did you fall to the dark side? I didn't fall, Jahani. I had my eyes opened. And don't look at me like that. Last I recall, you were having your own doubts. I was. I'm not anymore. Dak, you could... Save it. The Jedi aren't for me. Not anymore. Look. I'm not going to ask why a couple of Jedi are here in the Valley of the Dark Lords. I don't want to know. It's better that I don't. In fact, I'll just get out of here and leave you to whatever it is you're planning to do. Fair enough? Running away? Again? Why not? It's what I do best. Yes. Isn't it obvious? I don't want to talk about it here, however. I don't think there's much to talk about. Have it your way, Jahani. You always do. Look, I don't want to be here after you leave. There'll be too many questions, so ask what you have to ask and I'll be on my way. Well, it seems that the Sith once inhabited Korriban a long time ago. There was a fortress here that was destroyed at some point before the Sith abandoned the planet complete. Why they left, we don't know. Some. Most of the... In time, they will probably become... So do I. Goodbye, Dak. And thank you. Goodbye, Jahani. You should be careful if you're... There's an assassin droid in there, so Master Uthar says. It went insane and... I... I don't... I've had a... Sure.
Audio systems overloading must destroy source of disturbance, must kill sentience. I heard an explosion in there. Oh well, I guess it's good that the deed is done. Hope you stomped it good for my friends. At any rate, if you haven't already, you might want to go and see my... Oh, hello to you. Galen Lore, at your service. 
Not from this far. These ruins date back. Of course. Disturbed again, a human. Beware of this, this spirit. It may not be what it appears. Great emotion lies within. A Jedi here? Why have you come to this dark place, Jedi? 
Why disturb my sleepless rest? I do, and yet I do not. The force is so strong with you, human. Yet the face, the soul, uh, it has been so very long. I had a name once. Ajunta Paul. Yes, that was my name. I was one of many. We were servants of the dark side. Sith Lords, we called ourselves. So proud. In the end, we were not so proud. We hid, hid from those we had betrayed. We fell, and I knew it would be so. Our Jedi Masters, those who had taught us to use the Force, who warned us against the dark side, yet we embraced it in secret, reveled in its power. We were... discovered? Did we act? I can no longer remember. But here is where we came to hide, to grow, and here we fell. Remain? Do I remain? I have regretted for so long all that I have done. My sword, I filled it with my pride, and it is buried with me now. A corpse, as I am a corpse. I am dead as my faith is dead. And I shall remain here, surrounded by blackness, in death as in life. Of course you do. You seek my power. Will it destroy you as it did me? I wish my sword to be taken away from here. I do not wish it to rot away as I am. I command this of you. If, if you are wise, you will not keep it. In the end, it is what destroyed me. There are three blades within my sarcophagus. Only one is truly my soul. But it has been so long, I do not remember which. Find the sword that is mine and place it on the statue. If it is truly mine, then it is yours. Then you must die. This is how it must be. I do remember one thing of my sword. Listen to me carefully. The heart in fright hearkens night and silences the light. It was written of my sword long, long ago. Go then, find my sword and place it on the statue. Yes? Sure. What? Yes? Sure. Yes, that is the one. That is the blade that destroyed me. Take it. Take it and the other blades even. Take them and go. My darkness awaits me. No need. What choice have I? Return? But I betrayed my old masters. They would never let me return to the light side. It is too late. Too late. If, 
if I could return. Oh, my master, it has been so long, and I regret so much. So, the spineless worm actually made it through the tomb. I'm impressed. Isn't it obvious? I've been hoping that someone would do the dirty work in retrieving the sword of Ajunt Paul for some time. It's been quite a wait. You wouldn't have considered, oh, I don't know, getting it yourself? Now that you have it, I just thought I'd relieve you of it. It must be quite a burden after all. Insist. I'm not about to let a chance to impress Master Uthar pass me by. Especially not for a pathetic excuse for a Sith like yourself. Hand over the sword, worm. You know I'm the superior here. Fine. No tricks, though. I'm watching you. Smart move. You're obviously more pathetic than I could have even imagined. Thanks for the sword, worm. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. You! You have the sword! The s Are you joking with me? Oh, that is cool. Well, thank you for the information.
Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? Yeah. The contact more talks on the air should knock you out. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horn, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters. Yes, introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier, you should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. <laughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy. Liar! You think I can't tell? Obviously, the Academy is lax in its training as usual. Stupid Utha! Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Uh, I... Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see... Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. Why, then you go free. I'll tell you what. I'll even pass on to you my own personal thesis on ancient Sith philosophies. They're based on all I've learned studying to... Now, now, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor. So then, this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I... Miko here is a bit weak. He probably... I don't know what you think of Miko. Then you win. If you die, then he win. Well then. <laughs> now, now, dear lad, and how many cor- On that note, now then, your immediate- Correct. He was a fool to let down his guard. You will- You see me- so we come to round two. You... Correct! The humans 
you would no doubt just be sadly made. Let's see. Ice. You discover an aspect of the force that gives you great... Correct! Let them rip the secret from your cold Well, it's sad to say. Ah! Young Nicole dead? I suppose you've gone and passed my little test, haven't you? I think you must have cheated a little. But there's nothing wrong with the Sith cheating a little. I'll just give you my tablet. Yes? Thank you. 
Uh, you're a Sith, right? Uh, you're a Sith, right? If you must know, I intend to take the first ship off this rock. Why should that interest you? I trust you got whatever you wanted from the tombs. Why don't you ask her? She and I were students together at Dantooine for a time. We were close, and we shared doubts about the Jedi's ways. I left for the Sith because I thought it would be better here. It looks like Jahani changed her mind and stayed with the Jedi after all. You're doing maybe? Anyway, I'm done with the Jedi, the Sith, and with her. Just leave me alone. I already said, didn't I? I don't want to still be around when they start asking questions about you. Why do you care? I have no intention of opposing you. Perhaps you could go back to the Jedi. I did. I don't know. I'll think about it. Just leave me alone, Jahani. 
Then leave me be. How may I be of assistance? What is it you would like? There is little to tell. Dak and I were both Padawans. We joined the Order at the same time. He was a kind man, but frustrated. He felt the Jedi were too controlling, too limiting, more so than I did. When he decided to leave the Order, he asked me to come with him. He... he, he said he loved me. No, I didn't. I enjoy his company as a friend, but nothing further. I had no idea he felt as he did. He was angry at my refusal. I assumed that he would get over the hurt in time. I suppose such feelings can fester and darken, and they never go away. He reminds me of what I was when you found me in the grove. I... I feel sorry for him, but he has chosen his path, hasn't he? If I thought he would accept an offer of help, I would give it. Let us just move on, please. If you must know, I... Why don't you ask? Then... Yes? Uh-huh. What is this you bring me, Shardan? It is none other than the sword of Ajunta Paul, Master. Fool. All the trouble you went through for your deception, and you did not even make an effort to verify the sword's authenticity. Master, what... what do you mean? There is no place for fools amongst the Sith. Be gone. <laughs> Greetings, young one. I have... Ah, the ones I ordered executed for their mutiny. Indeed. We checked the caves and found only a couple of bodies. Perhaps the Shirak ate them. No, oh, it is just as good, I suppose. The lesson is learned. Go now. You have done well. Ah, finally. The genuine sword. I we should have kept that. It could have made a... Well done. You have impressed. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare. Yes, so I hear. I've had... I am impressed. You go now. You have done well. Ah, my old master. Still, unless you bring back something of his, some writings are similar. I. Oh, let me see. It appears my old master was busy studying. Regardless, you have, imp you have impressed me enough, by my estimation, to become a Sith in full. Congratulations, young one. You have bested the others quite completely. You have but one final test which you must take, and this I would advise you to be rested and equipped. When you return, make sure that you have all you will need. Yes? Thank <laughs> you. 
So then, I take it you are ready to travel to the tomb of Nagasado. Your final test. Then we go now. Very well. We are now ready for your final test, young Sith. You have earned the right to see if you shall be... Indeed you have. I dislike your tone. What are you up to now? Nothing, of course, my master. I was merely agreeing with you. Should we not get on with the test? Yes. Yes, of course. We are in the sacred tomb of Nagasado, young one. You are to follow in their footsteps and reach the ancient star map that lies deep within. There you will find a light. The lightsaber is for you, your initiation present. Be very cautious here. This tomb is like the others in this valley, and many of its old defenses remain. Do you understand what I have told you? Good, you thorough.
Saber in hand, as I knew you would. The Force has served you well. You took a great risk in acquiring the artifact. You used your mind and your power. No peaceful meditation, no pacifism. Sometimes you must fight in order to achieve. This gives you your passion. This makes you stronger. This is what makes you superior. That is the lesson we teach with that part of the final test. Do you understand? True. But most would say they fight only when they must, or not at all. We are the ones who know that struggle is what makes us superior. If you came to the Academy, you must have felt the stirrings within you that cry out for the... I can only show you the path that will lead to power and superiority. Good. The last part of your test will now commence. All life must compete in order to flourish. Such is the natural way of the universe. To stand still is to know death. So it is the same amongst the Sith. Compete or... So it behooves you in this final test to strike down one you are familiar with for no other reason than to prove you are superior. 
and without... Normally, this would be against another student. You, however, get a special treat. You will fight Euthora here. What? So this is what you had planned all along? You wish me killed? Indeed. You have become too ambitious, Euthora. It is time for you to die, and some... No. It is time for you. Oh, is this true, young one? You are indeed a fool. <laughs> to think. This may... Betrayed. Do not fret, my dear. All will be as it was quickly. You will pay for this.
You there! How is it that you're leaving Nagasado's tomb by yourself? You went in for your final test, didn't you? Where is Master Uthar? You lie! You could never have killed the Master! You are not Revan! Quick! Attack the traitor! But even if it's not Revan, what if Master Uthar is actually dead? Someone who could kill the Master? If Master Uthar is dead, then he was a weak fool. Now attack! I shall be the new Dark Lord of Korriban.
If you must know, I intended that Sure. Jimmy, I thought God told you. 
Oh! <laughs> 
这波的剑胆。How may I be of assistance? Of course. Thank you. 
Ki muli ra kung ki.
Thank you. 